Welcome back fellow bush babies to another episode of Minecraft. Today in front of me I have the finished restaurant. See? Look at that. Barry's restaurant. Now, I'm sure he's gonna be happy about this. He's already moved in. In fact it looks like the place is already nicely decorated. Probably could use a few more things but for right now it's got some cozy seats. It's got some smaller tables it's got the big party tables it even has little corner booths over here and there's another one over there so there are plenty of choices when it comes to seating so this place is looking pretty good now i'm gonna come up here and see what he's done with his room oh he's made himself a nice big room check this out he's got his tv He's got a few potatoes for himself, and oh, he actually has some coal. He has his little bookshelf with a table. Alright, this guy is living in style. Alright, let's come down here and see what he has to say. And there's actually two. Alright, menu and the butcher's note. Let's just, let's go with the butcher's note. Are you gonna talk, turn around? Or? No? Okay. Well, this place is absolutely perfect. I think we're going I think I'm going to like living here. Thank you so much for all your hard work. I hope you don't mind, but I took a little bit of your stuff from your chest to get me started. Well, that just some food. Well, okay, most of the meat and potatoes. He stole my food. Villager, you have balls. Well, just a little to get me started. Oh, come on, don't be mad. I'll charge you reasonable prices for my food. Okay. I promise. Check out the menu for meal prices. Buy in bulk? Sorry, Bush Baby, that isn't how res restaurants work. Hmm. Maybe I'll offer extra potatoes. I'll offer you a good combination of stuff for reasonable prices, but if you're looking for lots of food, you might want to open up a grocery store. Who knows? Maybe that other butcher will run it or something. Anyway, thanks again. Now, what can I get you? Well, you could get me all the food that you took, but I guess you are right. You're right. You can't open a business without stuff to actually sell, so I'll let you keep the stuff. So let's see what he's got. Um, let's see, steak dinner. Six gold nuggets for two grilled steak and two baked potatoes. It's not terrible. Meat trio, ten gold nuggets. For the extremely hungry, the meat trio is a serving of one steak, one pork chop, and one whole chicken. Wow, I don't think I could eat that in one sitting. Uh, the chicken dinner is four gold nuggets, uh, one whole chicken seasoned with special herbs and spices plus three baked potatoes. That's not bad. The pork dinner is four gold nuggets. White meat dinner includes one pork chop and three baked potatoes. Okay. Mushroom stew and potatoes, ten gold nuggets. Wow, that's a bit pricey. Uh, looking for something a little different? How about some warm stew and two baked potatoes? And extra potatoes, one gold nugget, one gold nugget each. Uh, let's see here. Feel free to ask for extra potatoes with your order for the low price of one gold nugget each. Feeling super hungry? Get a stack for only 20 gold nuggets. That's a little expensive considering they're my potatoes, but... I will forgive you. You do have to make a living after all. So we'll go ahead and put the menu back in there. I'm already okay with my potatoes. At least he didn't take them out of my inventory. Let's come over here real quick and check on this. Actually, before we do that, we still have a little bit of time before shop closes up. Why don't we go and enchant another piece of armor? So we have an episode before one of our villagers is discharged. The new butcher, we don't know his name yet, but the new butcher is set to be discharged next episode. And then the episode after that, the blacksmith will be discharged. So we have a couple of episodes before that. Why don't we go right ahead and start decorating? All right, I'm gonna go return these up here. Well, we have time to return stuff. We don't have time because the shop will close up soon. So we don't have time to waste. We'll come right over here. Oh crap, no. You know what? I'm gonna nick a couple of gold ingots from here because we do need the 10 gold nuggets. And if we happen to get locked in the house or locked in the shop, we'll just kind of sneak a little sleep up in his room. It's going to be no big deal at all. All right. Don't mind me, nurse. I'm just here for a couple of these. I will replace them. It'll be no problem. So, 10 gold nuggets. Oh, we got to hurry. 
We have to hurry. What should I enchant? Maybe, maybe the helmet or the pants? I don't know. Maybe the boots, because maybe then we'll get feather falling. So let's see. We need ten. Oh, crap. All right. For that, we come over here. Uh, let's go with the boots. Projectile protection. Not the best, but not the worst either. All right, let's go on home. And while I'm up there getting the diamonds put back, I suppose I'll just go ahead and, you know, throw the gold nuggets in there and take out a couple of ingots, return them over there. Today, we're actually going to be doing our decoration. I think I mentioned that already, but we're not going to be doing all of the decoration because this is a big house and it's going to take a little while to decorate everything. So we're going to go room by room and we're going to start with the kitchen because I would like to move everything out of here. Let me just throw this in here for now. We can put on our boots. No, not the helmet. The boots. Alright, we're slowly getting geared. Now let's... You know what? I'll go ahead and replace that... Mm those later. We'll just get right into this. Um, need these. I need to get rid of those. I have that, and I don't need them. Ah, we do need these, though. There, there, up, up. And a couple of these, because I do have an idea. I have a few ideas. I hope that you like them. We'll throw that in there, too. Alright, so we're gonna get out the Oh, wrong chest, actually. We just start from here. We're going to take a stack of each of these. A stack of each of these. We're going to come over here. First, we're going to come over here. Do I have any sticks in the U... Ah, good. We're going to come over here and we're going to make some fences. Because I need some birch fence. A majority of this house is probably going to be made out of birch furniture. Which isn't too bad because it sort of lightly contrasts everything else. There we are. Alright, let's get these all out of here. Now one thing to remember about the lighting is that the lighting might change. As we're putting stuff in, I don't have any floor plans for where furniture is supposed to go, so the actual thing, like the lighting, is probably going to change. We're going to start first by doing this, because I've got an idea for this. I need to break my way back out. I'm trapped. Help. I forgot to get an axe. Oh well. We'll just pop through this wall here. And... There. Alright. Alright, and... Oh. Let's break that out. And we'll throw this down there. Make it kind of look like the bottom of a fridge. Put that there. And this... Right up there. Alright, and that's where we'll keep our... In here... And one here, just because this little area looks a little bit dark. Now, since it's going to be covered over with carpet, it doesn't really matter. We're just going to come over here, and we don't need these anymore. Oh, he forgot some steak. We can keep those. He never said that he wanted the stuff that he didn't take, so we're going to just go ahead and pocket those steaks. All right. Now, we need to plan a few things. We want kind of a kitchen island set, I think. Get these right here. All 
All right, let's see. What do we want to do? Um, back here. And then that here. And like that. And maybe like that. Maybe the other way. We just need to make sure that nothing actually goes over this. Because then we can have all of these carpeted over. And, you know, we don't have to worry about actually seeing them under this stuff. So let's go this way. We'll use that because it's easier to break. And then like that. All right, there we go. Mm, we got windows here. We got windows everywhere and that I don't know, this isn't too bad a position for stoves. I'm going to put a couple of stoves right there. And maybe a counter. Come on, place. There we go. And a counter. That's a pretty big counter, but I think it'll be fine. Over here, we'll just have a smaller counter. We need... We need a cauldron. Alright, so this time I got everything that I needed. Cauldron. There. I shouldn't be wasting iron on decoration, but I can't help myself. I like decorating. Here we go. And now... There's a sink. And we're... What do we want to do? Actually, let's get that out of here. Connect that by there. Yeah. And then do this. No, wrong, wrong. There we go. Okay. So we kind of want... What do we want to do? We want a little area over here where we can put just decorative stuff, like a flower pot. In fact, I've got the stuff to make flower pots. Let's go get some clay. Or some bricks, technically. I've already smelted all those down, so we're going to make a mess of these. Get these out of here. Okay. Probably don't need that many, but... Boop! There we go. We'll put one there. And I just got a trophy for that. And what can we have over here? Maybe we won't need this anymore, so let's take that sign down. Maybe we'll have some low shelves. Oh. Mm, let's get that one out of here. Actually, let's do it like this. Um, a shelf. And a shelf. And then like that. That seems a little bit low, but... I think it works alright. Let's get up here. And here. And there we are. Okay, and... Now that we've got some idea of where these decoration pieces are going, we can just kind of start sprinkling these in here. So let's throw a pumpkin in here. So we don't want any dark spots at all, ever. Dark spots will just, they'll bring mobs. We don't need that. We don't need that in our house, in our life. 
So we're going to throw one here too. And this spot's not that dark, but we're going to put it in here just for good measure. And I know that this little bit's going to stand out, but that's not too bad. Hmm. It might stand out just a little bit. I don't really know what else to do about it. But we're just going to leave it alone. We'll figure it out later. And one of the designs that I really like for kitchens has always been the checker pattern. So we're going to leave that alone. We're going to... Oh, I'm already messing it up. No, no, no. Okay. Is the checker pattern. Now we're going to leave that alone. And then it'll be there. Uh, that doesn't need it there like that and then we're just going to do that same thing all the way over here we're just going to intentionally miss that spot because you know we can't put carpet on top of that And this, this has to go, because that's just a little shy of where we need it to be. But that's also why we're not getting rid of this. Because the entire house is not going to be carpeted. Uh, we don't want just carpet every single place. We want places that actually does show the floor. Let's see, what time of day is it? Oh, we're still good. We're very good. And... Then, like that. Uh, bup, bup. In fact, there. And then for here, basically, what we're going to do is pop that block out. And we don't need the pickaxe, so let's just replace that. Like that. And you're literally just going to do the same thing for these other blocks. So here and here. Instead of just plain old floor, we're going to have that and that. And then that would be white. And then this is going to be yellow again. And there we have it. The kitchen, for now, is all done. Now, I know, you know, it looks a little odd just because it is only a kitchen. The whole dining room, that's going to be out here. But we're going to come right over here and we're going to get all of our food. We'll dump all of this stuff off first. Nope. Get out of there. We're going to dump as much of this off as we can. And we're going to grab as much food as we can. Oh dear. Well. Uh, we'll throw the meat in there too. Even though it's cooked, it should be refrigerated. And we probably want to break this out. And we need a storage for charcoal. Coal and charcoal and, you know, all of that. Since this is almost empty, we can break one of these out throw those in there. And we'll use this to store our fuel. Alright, now we're not quite finished with this area yet. Next, what we need to do, what we need to do is run upstairs, because we're going to need a lot of sticks. Lots and lots of wood for lots and lots of sticks. Because we are going to make paintings galore. I'm not going to get hung up on any one particular painting. Oh, the chest is over here. I'm not going to get hung up on any one particular painting. I might change some things off camera, but... 
probably whatever stays is whatever's gonna happen. I'm, I need to learn how to Minecraft. Uh, boop, and there. That should be plenty of sticks. Let's get on down here. Let's pause for a little bit of a nom nom nom. Mmm, potatoes. Tater, tater, tater. Oh, we don't need to go there anymore. Let's come on in here. Oh, we do need to go in there. My bad. We're gonna need a lot of gray wool. Probably a lot of white wool, too, but I can always get more white wool. Let's throw these in here. I probably should have made the entire stack of logs into six because then I could have gotten 64 but eh, it'll be all right this way 32 is more than enough all right so go in here up here um, yeah we don't want spiders in the kitchen Yeah, that'll do. Uh, let's see. I want one there, but I don't want it just sticking out. So let me try something. Actually, those are... Uh, we'll use them anyway. And then we aim for this. Actually, that, ah, that pepper one was really good. Yeah, we'll do that. And we could take this in by one, but we'll keep that open for, I don't know, something. We'll find something to put up there. Mm, let's see. We'll throw one right between here. Let's see if we can get one that's too wide. Ah, there we go. Perfect. All right, this room is starting to come together. I think that might actually be more than enough. Let's see. We could have other stuff. Let's grab... Do I have any black wool? Actually, let's just take it straight from this chest. No, two, actually. All right. We will put a piece of black wool right here, maybe? No. Right here. And... Hmm. I'm trying to decide what TV design looks better. Just a one wide with the le lever on top or the item frame with the glass inside because it kind of just looks like there's a painting sitting here now and that looks weird. I think I kind of like the item frame. Yeah, I kind of like the item frame with the glass better. So I'm going to go with that, but, you know, if you think that the painting looks better and you can give me a good reason, then I'll go ahead and I'll just switch it. But I like this design. In fact, we're going to get a few of these just in case. And we need to get a monster gun. I'm going to go ahead and bring all that jungle wood with me. Because we're going to need more sticks. We'll take these two... There is some kind of monster bug in my bedroom. It freaked me out a little bit. Okay, back down to the kitchen. Where we're going to craft up some item frames. Just gonna throw all those in there. 
I was stupid. I could have just done this. There we go. Silly. We do need more item frames anyway. Oh, leather. We need more item frames to put over in the butcher, or not the butcher shop, the restaurant. Um, let's see. What was in here? And the glass pane in there. And there's our TV. Yeah. Yeah, I like that as a TV better. I kind of wish the glass pane would fill the whole thing, but we got a little TV while we're out here cooking. And let's go over there real quick. Let's kind of get a look at our room. I like this. I already like this a lot. So I know that I only just did the one room, but doing this entire house is going to take a while. And I am going to do all of these decoration episodes just kind of, you know, sporadically. Or I might do them all back to back. I don't know. But let's come over here real quick. And I'll give you a little bit of a tour around the the kitchen of this place. I gotta get those back out. Hey there, buddy. There we go. Kitchen. We've got the little overhead fans, you know, the exhaust. And, and there's no telling where it goes. But we also have the supply chest over here. Because you don't really need a whole lot of supplies to cook the meat. You just need the ovens, but you actually do need some things, and he's actually very low on stock. But, and then back here, we have this. And he's got plenty of room for expansion. And now we're finally finished with that. Let's see, does he... Yeah, he's got some coal in here. Awesome. We have sinks to wash the bowls to reuse them later. And, of course, staff only. But we're counting ourselves as staff since we're the mayor of this place. Now, if I had some money on me, buddy, I would actually buy something and eat it here. But I'm not hungry and I don't have any money. So we're just going to get right on out of here. And we're going to take a brief little visit over here while there's still some daylight left. And say hello to our other villagers while I do the outro. So, thank you very much for joining me on this decoration episode of Minecraft. I hope that you enjoyed it, and I hope that you enjoy the episodes still to come. Hey there, buddy. You guys are going to be out of here soon. You're going to be out of here next episode, but there's still going to be some more episodes of decoration and, you know, playing around with the house to come. So, next episode, I'm going to try and do two rooms, probably the living room and the dining room. So, I'll have that all planned out. And, yeah, I'm just going to let this episode go here. I'm going to go in and sleep. So, again, thank you all very much for joining me. I hope you liked the video, and if you did, please make sure to leave a like. If this is the first video you happen to have seen by me, please hit subscribe. It would be greatly appreciated. And I will see you all in the next episode. And remember, Bush Baby loves you.